Cat's eyes function very similarly to our own, but they have key structural differences that make them perceive the world differently. Though we cannot see through cat's eyes, we can look at their structures and make inferences as to how their vision differs based on structural differences. In both cat and human eyes, light passes through the cornea and the pupil, gets refracted through the lens, and then gets focused on the retina, so their general function is overall the same. The major differences between cat and human eyes are in the structure of the pupil and the lens, the structure of the retina, and the presence of the tapetum lucidum in cats. Throughout this video, I'll show some pictures and diagrams to help illustrate these differences, with special mention to digitally altered photographs created by Nikolai Lam that are meant to emulate cat vision. For starters, cat pupils are vertical and slit-shaped. A slit-shaped pupil has more flexibility over its pupil size, which allows the eye to see clearly in extreme light environments, such as during bright daylight and nighttime. In bright light, cat pupils contract into very narrow lines, while in dim light, they can expand into almost circular shapes that cover most of the eye. Human pupils are strictly circular and have less of an ability to expand and contract. The vertical slit shape also aids in perceiving color accurately, as a slit pupil allows light into the entire vertical length of the lens, while a circular pupil only allows light into the central region of the lens. A vertical slit pupil also enhances depth perception, as well as the sharpness of horizontal objects and quick horizontal movements. Furthermore, the lens in both cats and humans can become thicker or thinner due to the pulling of the ciliary muscles in order for the eye to focus on either nearby objects or distant objects, respectively. However, lens changes in the cat are more limited than in humans due to cats' more diminished ciliary muscles, making cats comparatively more nearsighted. Far away objects that humans can see fine would appear blurrier to cats. Our next point of discussion is the retina. There are two major types of photoreceptor cells in the eye present in both species, rods and cones. Rods are more sensitive to low levels of light, allowing for nighttime vision, but aren't very sensitive to color and don't produce a very clear picture. Cones are sensitive to different wavelengths of light, which correspond to colors, and have smaller receptive fields, which allows them to perceive smaller details more clearly. Humans have 20 times more rods than cones, but cats have an even higher ratio of rods to cones. This is another factor that allows cats to see better in dim light conditions. In terms of cones, humans have three types of cones sensitive to three different broad ranges of wavelengths, long, medium, and short, which are roughly adjacent to the colors red, green, and blue, making us trichromatic. Cats, on the other hand, have two types of cones, ones that are sensitive to medium and short wavelengths, corresponding to blues and greens, but none to reds, thus making them dichromatic. Cats probably perceive what we see as red as shades of yellow. One key feature of dichromacy is the presence of a neutral point where light of a certain wavelength appears white instead of colored. A neutral point has been found in cats at around 505 nanometers, which would appear bluish green to a trichromat human. Wavelengths smaller than the neutral point appear bluish, while wavelengths larger would appear yellowish. The cat neutral point is very close to the neutral point of people with red-green color blindness, which is 500 nanometers, implying that cat color vision is similar to that of red-green color blind people. Last but not least, cats possess a structure called the tapetum lucidum, which humans do not. This structure is located directly behind the retina. The tapetum allows light to reflect back into the retina again. This increases the amount of light in the photoreceptors, which further improves a cat's ability to see in dim light. The reflective nature of the tapetum is also what causes cat's eyes to flash a bright yellow or green in photographs, sometimes. All of these eye differences aid cats in surviving in their own ecological niche, which means accurately locating, tracking, and ambushing small prey animals, especially in dimmer light conditions when cats are the most active. The human world may seem pretty scary from a cat's perspective, so hopefully this video has helped you realize one major reason why.